right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, it's time for a live reaction for El Clasico. Um, where do I even start? I knew I, I knew we were not going to win this game. I let me just tell this right now, as a Barca fan, I knew we were going to win this game. But man, it feels devastating because we put up a good effort, and I think I'm proud of this performance. But unfortunately, defensively, we're shambles. You know, and I, you know what's crazy, guys? I actually am more proud of this performance than the one that we did at the Cap now. Or sorry, the Mantuic Stadium. And yeah, I think for Real Madrid, they have basically won La Liga. They basically won La Liga. They're 11 points clear at the top of the table. And then even if we had won, guys, we had very difficult games coming up. We had to play, I think, Granada away. Sorry, not Granada away. So, um, Girona away. And we had to play against Valencia and these kind of teams. And Real Madrid just have been good this season. You know, only lost one game this season, which was to Atletico Madrid. And you got to give credit to Real Madrid. They, they played well in the day. They showed up. And that's what matters. That's what matters. And Barcelona didn't. Defensively, we were terrible. And we got caught out. And Real Madrid capitalized. And uh, they, got th they got the three points. They get the massive win that they needed. And I think for Barcelona, man, this is just devastating for them. Like, I... Like if you're a Barcelona fan, you're 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 devastated how you lost this game because it was almost there. We could have got a draw. Even a draw would have been terrible. Obviously, but we needed to win this game. But even a draw, I would have been okay. You know what? We gave it a good effort. But you know, Real Madrid won. They did the league double over us. And the last time they did the league double was with Kuman in charge. And we know how bad Kuman was as a Barca coach. So let me read some of your guys' comments in the live chat. So Patrick Mina says, "Just kidding." Patrick Miller says, hey there, anyway, I knew Real Madrid are going to win. I feel so bad for you. Yeah, thanks, Patrick. Um, yeah, I, I I, I just had the feeling that it was more likely that Real Madrid win than Barcelona win. So let's go look at the uh, – let's go look at – let me share my screen, actually. So – So, <sighs> let me see what you guys say in the chat. Poi says, yo, thank you for joining me. I don't know if we have any guests for today. I have no idea. Uh, because I didn't get to watch the entire game. I only watched like probably like the uh, um, the second half. Um, I did see some of the first half though, and I know that uh, we're going to talk about decisions. Yeah, Serbia Country Ball says Barca were robbed. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about that because that was a big decision in the game, and who knows that could have been uh, that that could have changed the game. But the thing is, what I'm trying to say, and the fact that there's no goal line technology, La Liga is a disgrace. There's no goal line technology. There is no goal line technology in La Liga is disgraceful. It's absolutely disgraceful. It's absolutely disgraceful that there's no goal line technology in La Liga. You know, and I'm not even saying this because I'm a Barca fan or anything. I'm being objective. Like every league should have goal line technology, right? And the fact that there's no goal line technology in this league, it looks it makes the league look bad because we're trying to compete with the Premier League, right? And if we can't even have goal line technology in this league, it, it's terrible. And people talk about, oh, EPL refs are bad. La Liga refs are just as bad. You can even argue maybe even worse. Uh, that um, you can even argue maybe even worse than La Liga refs. I mean, EPL refs. So. All right, let me send the link to my Barca friend. Uh, see if you can join. I hope you can. Uh, it crossed the line. Serbian country ball says, Serbian country ball says, it's stupid that Galali doesn't have goal line technology. Yeah, crazy that Galali doesn't have that. But needless to say, needless to say, I, 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 I feel like even with that goal, if he had scored, I still feel like it doesn't change the fact that I think Real Madrid is a better team. I think Real Madrid deserved to win this. I think Barcelona for me, we played well. 
We had a good game, but man, we were defensively shambles. Defensively, we were just terrible. Okay, so let's start with the first goal, man. Great, great header there from uh, Andreas Christensen. Fantastic header there. Great assist there from Rafinha. And Christensen, man, once again, man, scores a very, very important header to make it 1 0. I think you're thinking to myself, okay, Christensen did it, man. Christensen did it. Then obviously, Vinicius scores a penalty there. Great, great footwork there from uh, Lucas Vasquez, man. Uh, great, great individual piece of brilliance uh, to go through the past the Real Madrid, to go past the Barca defense, draws a penalty, and Vinicius scores a penalty to make it 1 1. Kabarsi there uh, had to make a sliding challenge. Cancelo should have done better. And I blame Cancelo more for it. I blame, actually, you know what? I actually blame Joao Cancelo more than Kabarsi because. If Cancelo, if if Joao Cancelo actually man marked him, Kubarsi wouldn't have need to make that challenge. Kubarsi wouldn't have need to make the challenge. One one, and then obviously as we talk about that, there was a controversial moment in the 40th minute where Barca should have had uh, Barca scored, goal didn't goal wasn't given, no goal line technology, and the game rep, the halftime is one one. One all, and and then the second half, man, second half Barca uh, makes some substitutions. We took off. Uh, Christensen there. Now, I don't know why Christensen was taken off. Was it because of injury concern? Was it a bit of tactical concern? I think it was a bit of a tactical reason why we took Christensen off. I don't think it was a – I think it was more of a tactical reason why. I don't think it was really an injury concern. Uh, anyways, he came off. And then obviously, um, you know, Barca had some great chances. Obviously, the Ferran Torres chance was huge. Uh, then obviously uh, – let's see if we can find the chances. So yeah, Real Madrid started off the the first half, the second half better. Uh, Yamal had the good chance for fiftieth minute, Bellingham there with a the good save. Uh, uh, Vinicius there with the miss. Lewandowski with the miss. And Lewandowski was taken off, and then Modric uh, was blocked. And then Lopez, man, great, great assist there from Yamal. Yamal was fantastic there for the assist. Uh, great, great there, a great piece of brilliance there. Um, and to make it uh, uh, two one to Barca, and remember it was took a rebound. Uh, who got the rebound shot? Was it Gundogan? I think it might have been Gundogan. Oh, yeah, Pedri came off. Uh, De Jong came in at halftime. He, had a, he was stretched off with the ACL, I think. Really, really bad injury there. Uh, then, obviously, um, yeah, Fermi Lopez scores. And then, who got the who got the rebound? Cancelo. Um, parries it. Um, and, yeah, and then Fermi Lopez makes us 2-1. Uh, then, obviously, Lucas Vasquez, man. Great, great cross into the box. Uh, great cross into the box. Um from Lucas Vasco, a great assist from Vinicius, man. I don't know what the bar, oh, I don't know what Joel Kinsel was doing there. He gave him way too much space. Uh, then obviously, uh, Real Madrid had another chance there. Vinicius roars and Barca makes a, uh, it was a great save there. 87th minute, great, great free kick there from Real Madrid. And then obviously, Jude Bellingham there with the winning game winning goal. Vasquez with the assist and then Tristey and blocks it. But yeah, I mean, for Real Madrid, as I said, it just, it's just a shame because that goal that we scored could have been a game changing moment. Because who knows? If we take if we score that goal, we could have maybe won this game. But then the day, it is what it is, and we just have to accept it. We just have to live with it and accept the reality that we didn't win, and that Real Madrid won the game three two. You know, so I'm 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 just 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 I'm I'm proud of the team though. I I I think for me, we can feel proud of this team and how good they were attacking wise. I think they put up a good game, but defensively we were terrible. Defensively, we were shambles, and that's what's ultimately sad takeaways from this game. And Real Madrid, what a week for Real Madrid. They beat the champions of Europe. They beat the champions of Spain. They might be able to do the double. They might be able to do the double, guys. We're going to have to wait and see. But, yeah, let me see what you guys say in the chat. Uh, Felix didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm done with Joao Felix. I don't want Joao Felix at my club anymore. Send this guy back to Atletico Madrid. No, thank you. And Cancelo? Thank you for your services. I like you as a player. Defensively, you're terrible. I, I don't want you. I don't want you. You 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 pretty much. You honestly, I, it's kind of hard to do this, but I'm going to do this right now. Joel Cancelo pretty much gifted Real Madrid two goals. If we're keeping it a stack. Um, exactly. Serbia Country Ball says I'm sending a picture on Discord. Okay. Uh, Forza Barca says, bro, I am done. Yeah, I know the Barca fans are going to be mad. Um. Uh, um, I know the Barca fans are going to be mad with the goal line technology thing. And I understand, and I am angry as well, but the point being is that we also were defensively terrible. So there's no guarantee we would have won the game. 
you know, we, we can always infer with these hypotheticals and everything like that. But it's, it's just a shame, man. It's just a shame. So, uh, Kubarsi should have been taken off. Christian should go to center back and Roberto comes on. Yeah, Christian, uh, Kub I, no, I, th I think Kubarsi was a good decision. I think uh, keeping, I don't think Kubarsi should have been taken off. That is true. That is true, Serbian country ball. We haven't lost in La Liga since that Villarreal game. We haven't lost. So, but like, it, it's just, it's just frustrating that we played really well, but we didn't deserve to lose. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I honestly, I don't really feel like Real, I mean, Real Madrid were the better team, but I don't think, I think this was a much better game than the one at the, uh, the Montuic Stadium. Like, I think Barcelona put up a much better performance as a team at this game than that they, than they did in that game. It's just a shame, though, because I would have taken a draw. Even if we had lost La Liga, a draw still would have been okay to me because, hey, we put up a great, that good of a performance. But now, <laughs> it is what it is. Just how football is, man. Football's like that, man. Football's like that. By the way, shout out to uh, Boca Juniors, man. They won the Super Classic earlier today against River Plate. Uh, I wish I was watching that. Uh, that would be, Both games were going at the same time, so unfortunately I couldn't watch that game, but maybe I'll watch the game after this game. The highlights. Uh, just Evan, Stegen did everything. Uh, Pookie says, well, can't stay for long. All right, fair enough, Pookie. I'm going to do this. Um, oh, okay. All right, see you, Pookie. Thank you for joining. Peace, man. Peace. All right. And GG. Yeah, this was a good game. This was a good game. It if we lost. Uh, let me see what he's saying. Honestly, uh, Arao should have been on the right. Roque should get more play time. Yeah, yeah, Roque. Like, I, I don't understand why Xavi doesn't use Victor Roque much more. Like, Victor Roque, for me, needs to be used more. Like, Lewandowski, for me, we got to send him off. Th this should be his last season at Barca. Like, and Frankie de Jong, I'm on the verge of saying maybe we should sell Frankie de Jong. I'm on the verge. Because Frankie de Jong, for me, is just not, just not, bar he's just not good enough. I'm sorry. Hello, Barry. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yo, what's up, man? How are you feeling, man? Because I, I feel I feel like I'm proud of this performance, even though we lost. But like mm -hmm. I I feel like I feel like we could have I don't know. I mean, are you because for me, I actually think we better did better this game than the one we did in the month week stadium. The reverse picture. Uh in the in the first uh in September. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a great game over. I think both teams played very well. It just came down to a couple of details, you know, and um, like, I don't know what to say, because uh, first of all, like uh, when you look at the goal line technology, that was a factor. Like I've seen different angles of uh, the ball going in. Sometimes people say that um, it, it didn't fully uh, go in, but I, I just wanted to see like. Um, yeah, we, we don't have we, like, we have like to, speculating. Yeah. Yeah, we should have. To, yeah, I don't know. We don't. Ha we don't have a go like technology in twenty twenty four. Like arguably, one of if not the best league in the world. You don't have technology for the goal line. I mean, come on. But it was it was a great game. I don't think there was like any robbed penalties for both sides or oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it just no, came no, down to wasn't. details, you know. Yeah, Bellingham he scored a, the dagger and the, yeah, it is what it is. But just a great game overall. Yeah, so actually, I, I should have backtracked in the beginning. Uh, what was your thoughts on starting eleven from uh, both to, uh, for Barca? Like, were you happy with this eleven when you first saw? It? Because I was pretty happy. Yeah, it, it was decent, like balanced. It's just um, maybe like uh, I, I was hesitant on Cancelo 
due to the last performances. But I was like, you know what? It's been the 11 that's been working for us for the past week. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. But um, yeah, yeah, just mistakes that cost us yeah. uh, the goals. And, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, Real, I think Real Madrid, that was probably the best 11. Um, obviously, the one bit of it, the one probably surprising thing was probably come up Vingas right left back. But I believe it was because Ferla Mendy wasn't fit for this game, right? Yeah, he wasn't fit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. So I think well, that was probably we've, the we've best seen Real Madrid. Him, uh, but... Yeah, sorry. But we, we've seen him play left back uh, beforehand. So oh, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. it's not like the first time he's playing, you know? <laughs> but yeah, yeah exactly, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that first goal, man, Chris has said. Because unfortunately, Barry, I actually did miss some of the game. I was able to watch the second half, but I wasn't able to watch the first half. I did look go okay, back okay. and watch some key moments. So how were you feeling when Chris has scored that first goal? You were probably going crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, and, and I mean, not crazy because, you know, the elimination in the UCL still kind of hurts a bit. But, um, yeah, I was pretty happy. I thought that we were, we were going to win the game because they played a very intense game on yeah. Wednesday, two hours, very tough emotionally, physically. So I, thought, I was like, you know what? Maybe we can take advantage of it and win, but it is what it is, you know. Yeah, that first goal was a great header there from Christensen. And then yeah, obviously, great header. Yeah, and then um, Lunin probably should have done better there. I think it was caught, uh, maybe should have done better there. Um, yeah, I think because he didn't anticipate uh, Christensen uh, pulling back the header, the header, excuse me, and uh, maybe yeah, yeah. he would have stayed on there in his zone. Yeah. And then obviously, um, the Vasquez draws a penalty. And for me, uh, that was a good. Uh, that was a, that, that was definitely a penalty in my opinion. Yeah, um, it, it reminded me of. Uh, do you remember the Saka and the Noya kind of situation at the end of the first leg? Yeah. But but in this, but the difference is that like uh, Kubarsi, unfortunately, he let his leg lose too much, and then it just cut off the trajectory of a uh, Vasquez's run. So it was a penalty. Yeah, yeah, and then obviously. Um, and then obviously um the 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 gold line technology we just talked about. So do you think like do you think of the gold line technology? Do you think I know it's kind of hard for us to say because we're obviously Boris Barca fans, so we can't really we probably can't be objective with this, but if we're around yeah. so I mean <laughs> no, I, it's just that I've seen uh, yeah, I've seen different angles of like the ball going in, the ball didn't go in, but um even if like if the ball didn't fully cross the line, I have no problem with it with it. It's football, stuff happens, but like you, you cannot have a, a league as big as La Liga with no goal like technology. It's been there since 2014. Yeah, and this yes. is I, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the first season like remove goal like technology, or has this been removed for a while now? I forgot. I think for a while. Do, do we ever had it? Because th there's been some seasons where there's been instance where the ball crossed the line for us, but you know. Yeah, it's because the thing is, I'm not really mad the goal was taken off. I was, I was just more mad that there was no technology because, see, if yeah, the exactly. technology existed, see, the technology existed, and the ball didn't fully cross the line. Then okay, it is. Yeah, what it exactly. Is. Yeah, but it's just, it's just frustrating that we're just guessing here. We were, we don't have like exact measurement, you know. <laughs> like that's yeah. the sad thing. Like we're just, just going by what we think, and that, that that's how we shouldn't be. Like we, we like it, it shouldn't be like that, you know. Like, this is one of the biggest things in the world. Like, how do we not have enough money to afford this? Tevas, what yeah. are you doing? <laughs> no, if we had the technology and it didn't cross, fair enough. It's football, but you don't have – yeah, it's just annoying, man. Yeah, like I like said, I'm more mad that technology isn't there. I'm not really mad the goal wasn't given. I'm more mad yeah. that technology wasn't there. You know, that's just me personally. Yeah, same for me. Yeah, so then obviously the first half ends. It's 1-1. One, one. And you're thinking to yourself, okay – Alborsa do it. And then obviously De Jong gets injured off before halftime, so Pedri has to come on. And De Jong, man, this is just a bad injury. So is he is it's an ACL injury, right? No, it's ankle apparently. Ankle. Oh, ankle, ankle. Okay, sorry. So how yeah. uh, do we know how long is he? Uh, because I hope he's not out for the rest of the season. Oh, this no, the not yet. It's pretty much done. Yeah, no, yeah, we don't have any news right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to me, for the rest of the season, we don't really have much to play for. But still, I want to. Yeah, see so the like Euros, we could you know? rest. He, yeah, he could rest and like prepare for the Euros. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I want to see De Jong in the Euros, man. I want to see the best players play. You know. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Then obviously the halftime. Now, actually, I want to ask you this question: Why was Christensen taken off? Was it because of injury? Was it like a tactical reason? Like, do you know why? Actually. No, no. I mean, from what I've seen from social media, they say tactical decision. That's what like the most I've seen. But um, if it was like injuries, I fully understand. And Firmin yeah, yeah, yeah. did pretty good, so I wouldn't complain. Yeah, yeah, Firmin. Yeah, for me, Lopez. And then obviously, the second half, Real Madrid started kicking off. 
And then uh, Yamal was fantastic. I thought Yamal was one of the best sports players today. Yeah. Uh, it was amazing. The, yeah, the, the rating that they gave on the uh, football, it doesn't do justice. Yeah, it's, it doesn't do justice, you know. And that's why you yeah. have to watch the games, you know. I just yeah. had this as kind of like a reference point. Uh, but, you know, obviously it's not fully accurate, you know, in my opinion. But, yeah, then mm. obviously that goal there from Lopez, man. Great, great pass there from Yamal. And who got the rebound shot? I forgot. Who got the rebound shot? Uh, uh, it was, it was fair, fair, f no, Ferran tried it, but he, he missed it. So oh, was, fair. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Fermin Lopez. Okay, okay. Fer Ferran Torres. Yeah, okay. Fer Fermin blocked it. No, uh, sorry. Lunin blocked it. And then Ferran, uh, no. Excuse me. Lunin blocked the cross. And then Fermin Lopez got the rebound. Ah, okay. And then Katsal yeah. was at fault for the first goal. Even though he didn't get, give away the penalty, he invited he invited Vasquez inside the box. Yeah, he got cooked by uh, Vasquez. And then yeah, the and second then, you know, goal... Yeah, oh my yeah, god, that was... the, the marking. Oh my, it's the same thing that happened against PSG. You know, the Dembele goal before, yeah, uh, uh, in the second, it was the same instance. It was so, For, uh, yeah, and I, I'm, it's I, like, the same it's just, thing, yeah, it's just so frustrating, you know. And then obviously, a terrible defending yeah. there from Kitzel, and then Bar and then Real Madrid had a very good chance there to take the lead. I think Vinicius got a shot straight at Ter Stegen, and then they even had a free kick there. Um, I think it was offside, though, eventually. Bellingham almost scored. And then Bellingham scores the last minute of the game. Great, great assist there from um, Brian Diaz to, uh, I think, was a Vasquez. And, yeah, Brian Diaz was amazing. Like, did you, did you see, like, the way the ball control he was doing? Like, the, our, yeah, the, no. could stop it. <laughs> yeah, there's been great substitutions in this game. Yeah, so, yeah, I, for me, and, yeah, it's just, and, yeah, we, we lost the game 3-2. And it kind of feels yeah. harsh to say that. Yeah, I feel like we played really well. It's just that. We just lost just this details. Game. Yeah, just we just lost this game because of yeah. defense, because of mistakes, you know. And Cancelo for me, I hate to do this, but kind of like against PSG, we kind of lost this game because Cancelo. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean PSG, like I, I think it's mostly Araujo because like the Cancelo oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, mistake doesn't happen because of Araujo. But if we're like Cancelo, he was responsible of the two goals that we conceded because he got cooked by Vasquez, and then. The marking on the second goal, he was nowhere near. He, he was out. He was out of the blue. He didn't concentrate. On yeah, at least for the third goal. At least for the third goal, you can't really criticize him for that yeah, one. It um, is what it is. It's just a great cross. Yeah. Bellingham was on the second yeah. post, and then it is what it is. Yeah. So I think for Real Madrid, man, and like I said, even if we had won this game, Barry, we still, yeah. I still looking at our fixtures. Like it's still been very difficult for us to. Win La Liga. Yeah. Was, uh, I think the fixtures we had, we had. Let me just show you the fixtures coming up. We had like we had to play Girona away, uh, Valencia, Girona, Sociedad. Like those are like these three games are pretty tough. The Rio yeah. as well. That, that that's, that's tough. Sevilla. So even if we had somehow won this game, I still don't think we would have won La Liga, uh, because I still think we would have dropped points. Uh, and then for no, Real Madrid, the the, the league has like, been over saying? for me. No, the league's been over for me for a moment. It's just that, like, I was wishing that we would have won this game for confidence and just, you know, end the season on the right note. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, it, like the thing is, like, I, I wanted to win El Clasico, not really for the league title itself, but more for, you know, bragging rights. You know, I want to win El Clasico. We haven't won El Clasico in all this season, which is sad. We lost all three. So, yeah. I mean, looking at the fixtures for Real Madrid, they had Sociedad away, Cadiz, Granada. Deportivo Alves, Villarreal. Yeah. I mean, they, they should uh they should take advantage yeah. of that. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, for Real Madrid, as I said, it it is it's 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 it, it is frustrating. But you know, I, I'm I'm proud of the team. I'm proud of the team. We gave it a good effort, but it's just uh, certain players let us down. That's just a, that's just the thing. Uh, and yeah. Julio says he wants to send send you a link. All right, I'll send you a link, man. Check your DMs. Check your DMs. I'm gonna send to you. Okay. All right. So, um, do you have anything else to say? Uh, let me um, let me send the link to him. Um, so yeah, Barry. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, is is it's a it's a good performance and um, yeah, just yeah, certain uh, individuals. Unfortunate mistakes, details yeah, yeah. happens. Like you know, I you know, out of the three El Clasicos, which one do you think Barca played the best in of the three? Um. Good question. Yo, I, mean, probably, yeah. okay, I think it's this one. That's... What's up, boys? What's up? Yo, yo, yo. What's Barry, up? Barry, Barry, Barry. 
How you feeling, yeah. bro? Because I'm not feeling good, bro. How you feeling? I mean, bro, you know, I don't feel anything right now. I was down bad on Tuesday, but now, like, I, I'm emotionless. I don't feel anything. Uh, I'm numb. I get you, bro. I understand. I, I get why no one feels. You know, you know, I need sh- I, right now. I, look, season's over, right? Shavi and yeah, Andy, yeah, if you want to leave immediately, bro, you can go right the hell now, bro. Like, like leave right now and take these useless, incompetent, uh, I don't want to use other words because it's AD's channel. And um, players, yeah, yeah. Name, Jao <laughs> Felix, Cancelo. Who else? Who, who else was useless today and is a useless sack of nothing? Who else? Thirsty? No, not much, bro. I, 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 I Freaking, just think Cancelo. Bro, these players. I think, I think we're being a bit too reactionary. AD, AD, you just said you were proud of the boys. I don't know what kind of proud you feel about this game, bro. We just no, lost. Like, wait, 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 we wait. just lost a classical three two, you know. We horrible defending again. The two goals we conceded, freaking no. not knowing what to do on the ball, bro. I don't care if we got bounced out of our PSG. If the team is in turmoil, when it is classical time, we better go and fucking win. And if you don't beat Real Madrid, then I don't want to in my freaking team because you're useless. For me, Lopez, I love you to death because you actually care about the badge. They are mal. Absolute class player, even though yeah, Yamal was amazing. Yeah, he Yama had was amazing. A unbelievable performance against um, against Real Madrid's defense. This is one of these games that actually gives me hope that we have something to build with. Frankie De Jong, unfortunately, he, well, he had a good game, but he got injured. Lewandowski was this is his worst game at, in a Barcelona. Yeah, Lewandowski was bad five. today. Lewandowski was bad worst, today. Worst game. That's what, I mean, that's why he was subbed out early. But, he normally doesn't get subbed out this late early. Something is something is, is really getting on my nerves. Um, Xavi, why isn't Vitor Roque playing? If you're gonna take yes. off Lewandowski, then you don't bring me a useless, incompetent crybaby diva like Joe Felix on the pitch who doesn't press, oh, who doesn't yeah. offer anything. When you could have easily put Ferran Torres on the left and bring on Vitor Roque to start pressing the, the, the Real Madrid attack and defense. So for me. There's two, there's two things. Either we really messed up with Vitor Roque and he's not good enough and Xavi is seeing it in training or the kid is not adapting well. It's all bad news right now when it comes to Vitor Roque because I don't understand how do you take out um, Lewandowski and not bring on um, Vitor Roque. Um, Rafinha ghosting, but I can't even stand Rafinha after what he did against PSG for both legs. So, uh, yeah, he got the assist, man. He got the assist, man. I don't think he was that bad. So freaking... um. The goal line technology issue, this is a freaking disgrace. This is Eddie, this is the second time that goal line technology has affected us this season. Because no, the VR can't determine whether or not the ball goes in the net. So Wait, what was the second? Have, what was the first time? What was the first time? I think the first time I remember it was against Mallorca. Oh freaking, wait, wait, Mallorca. Uh, yes, Mallorca. And then freaking um I'm trying to No, no, I no, it was I think we were talking about Granada. Was it, was was it Granada? I think it was Mallorca, wait. bro. Wait, wait, Barry, do you remember? Is I uh... no, but we've th- had the. Are you talking about the? Ma- I think the Mallorca away game. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah I want to was... add this point. The VR yeah, didn't. The VR didn't know what what to do. That's why it took so long. They can't determine the, if the water ball went in or not. I'm seeing images from different angles, and it almost looked like it's a goal. But how can we know if we don't have the technology to verify it? Because Javier Tebas thought that this was a good idea. And then he goes on Twitter and posts a message showing that goal line technology has issues. When he well knew that not all, not all, um, the majority of the time, the percentage of goal line technology having an error is so minimal. It's literally good to have it in your league. But no, Tebas doesn't want to Im- implement it into the league. Uh, but yet he's requesting higher salary from every league asking for his salary to be increased. This president is awful. This league is awful. It's so low quality. The fact that this had to be an issue, and I'm right here discussing it. Um, but I'm very angry. I'm always angry when Barca loses. I'm always angry when I'm losing to Madrid, especially if Jude Bellingham is the one who is freaking dunking on me <laughs> the second time. Oh, I'm man. always angry, bro. And then these, these, these freaking clowns, bro. These clowns, these so these players are not playing for the bad, bro. Um, Joe Cancelo and and Joe Fee, they're just playing for themselves, bro. No, I, they're playing for them. They're playing for the money. For me, 
um, uh, uh, bro, Kunde, we've been getting a lot of, lot of hit. And for me, bro, I genuinely believe that he actually tries his best. Um, throughout the entire yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Kunde, Kunde was good, Kunde, man. Kunde was good. Kunde is actually like he's actually being a better defender than Araujo right now. Like Araujo is not good. Like he costed us an elimination against PSG. Kubarsi's penalty, that's very controversial in my opinion because yes, um, um, Kubarsi did plant in his foot and extended it, but. He didn't like literally. You can see Vasquez initiating for the counter. He literally like puts his foot um, onto Kubarsi and then he falls when he well knows that but the ball left him. Yeah, but the thing, but the thing I is, think they had the. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Barry. But the thing is, Cancel. But the thing is, Cancelo shouldn't have allowed that to happen. If Cancelo yeah, was yeah. a man marking, then we shouldn't have had that discussion. Yeah, that's really true. If we go back, that's why I've been ripping Cancelo because he was our worst player today. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm Cancelo, you should. If Cancelo can't start the next game. I'm concerned, AD, because a lot of these players are young, bro. They're being exposed into these massive defeats, bro. I don't know how they're going to handle it. I, like, bro, like, I hopefully, bro, we get a manager that can keep this disambition from these young guys, bro. Because as you can see, bro, eventually they, they, they lose that hunger, bro. They lose that hunger because they're surrounded by losers, bro. Guy, guys are, that, that, that get offended when they make an error, bro. Like, I, I was out here seeing... Araujo getting getting offended when Cancelo, I mean, when Gundogan called him out for that stupid mistake. Like, you shouldn't be getting offended. You should be apologizing and telling the fans that you're going to do better the next time. But, no, these guys want to get offended. Um, yeah. But, anyways, um, I'm going to head out for now. I already vented. I already raged out. Um, Xavi, I, if I, right. I'm going to check his press conference. We'll see what his reaction. But if I hear anything about referees, being horrible today, bro. After you well no, no, know, you, you would don't no, you have we can't the referees today. Well. Oh, we can't blame the referees for today. Uh, we can't blame the fan base for the fan base for the for the external fan base, the, the Spanish side of the fan base, because uh, I know my Spanish. For the guys that are saying that everyone is against Barca, y'all can go to hell because they're allowing this mediocre project to continue. Y'all can go to the fiery pits of hell. And I want change. I want a, I want a DM this summer. I want one winger that can beat this man on the left-hand side. And that's it. What DM and a winger. And then we get rid of Cancelo and Joe Felix and we start again. All right. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. Let's go look at the comments. Uh, sorry, I haven't been looking at the comments, if you don't mind. And then we can, uh, after we go through the comments, we'll get our final thoughts. We can head out. So that sounds good with you, Barry? Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, honestly, Arao should have been the right. Roca should get more game time. These are classicals don't feel the same as years ago. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, there, there was just wasn't any hype because the league was pretty much over, but yeah. it was a great one. Like, if, if like, you missed I, it, like, you missed a good one. Yeah, like, I, I don't like how people say, oh, classicals don't feel the same as years ago because of the players. Guys, we have to move on. Football isn't just about Messi Ronaldo. El Clasicos are bigger than Messi Ronaldo. Okay? It will yeah. always be. Like, come on. Like, I mean, sure, it's not as good as it used to be. I could probably agree with that, quality-wise. But it's still amazing. It's still great. And this game was fantastic. It was five goals. Yeah, it was a great one. Like, yeah, like I look at the other top matches in other leagues. It's it's very boring. Like, Liverpool, Man City, that always feels like a draw. <laughs> like, come on. You know? So, I, you got to keep the same energy, man. Keep the same energy. Uh, Chuck Cohen says that MVP, man of the match for Real Madrid was obviously Vasquez. You know, I just realized, I think Vasquez had a hand with all the goal contributions today. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. The penalty, <laughs> the the second goal, and the third one, he had a great contribution in there. And that's insane, Matt. You know, people are gonna be the headlines gonna be all about Bellingham, bro. But really, the headlines should be about Vasquez, if we're being honest. Yeah, he was MVP. Yeah, yeah, I like that. You know, because yeah, Bellingham had a good game, and I said he had, didn't. Yeah, but he was, Vasquez he was had a good game. Yeah, but you know that's just how that's just how the PR is like. Yeah, like Vasquez, not only he 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 was great in the game, but he contributed to every single goal. So, but he got yeah. a very good game. But I just think Vasquez was just was a bit. Yeah, better. yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, you know, Vasquez this is a player that hardly plays much for Real Madrid. Hardly plays, and this is amazing yeah. for him. <laughs> yeah, role player, and he's doing this. Uh, boxes Ronaldo, Messi, Xavi, Ramos, Iniesta, Marcelo, PK, Pepe, Casillas, Busquets, days. So, yeah, those days of yeah, Vasquez are days. amazing. Yeah, dog of football chance. It's absolutely mind blowing that La Liga doesn't have gold like technology. 24, 24 man makes make it make sense. <laughs> yeah, like I don't understand. Like, how does one of the biggest leagues in the world doesn't have a gold like technology? No, I don't know, man. 
Even even like even like small leagues, like um uh even like the small European countries, like yeah, and, you know, and like even they, the, like in the Netherlands, Air they have goal line technology. Yeah, they have goal line technology. Even countries that are poor, they have goal line technology. Like I, I even probably like Poland and these kind of other countries, they probably have they probably have goal line technology too. Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I'm I'm pretty sure. So Spain, man, you can't. Hey, what's your excuse, man? Yeah, yeah, do do better, man. So. Uh, Poison is crazy. Honestly, Modric and Valverde should have got red cards. Uh, should they have got red cards? I don't. Do I, think, I don't Harry? think they, the the only controversy was that they're going like I don't think so, someone should have deserved the red card or something. Yeah. Like that. And personally, for me, I don't like when red cards are given because red, when red card is given, it really it makes it bad. Unless, like, unless right? it's blatant. Oh yeah, yeah. If it's a blatant red card, then yes. But it was like clear and obvious. I don't think. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's um let's move on. Adam says unlucky. Yeah, it was very unlucky. Anish Kurani says we shouldn't sign Cancelo. No hell. Right, so really, yeah. yeah, I really, I, I like and this this performance. Like I, he can sure he can give you all the goal contributions and everything, but you have to defend. That's <laughs> that's you have to defend. If you don't want to defend, then you can't be a def- the, you can't be a fool. Then you then you sh- we shouldn't sign you. You know, yeah. Rafinha, was he? Why was he taken off? Yeah, why was Rafinha taken off? That was actually a bit of interesting. Do you uh, justify that substitution? I mean, I think you just want something a bit different for like the attack, but it's not like Joe Felix did something great. I mean, he had yeah, he had one chance, but he just missed the kick. Do you remember? He had a volley, oh, yeah, but yeah. Missed, he he missed it. Yeah, you know what's actually sad. I don't think Felix has got a goal contribution against Real Madrid ever in his career. Nope. <laughs> not even a wait. Has he wait? Has he got an assist? I know he's not scored, but has he got an assist? He might have got an assist. I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> oh my god, Felix, man, this is bad. Box says, "Can La Liga afford him?" <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. Poor boy said, "Thought La Liga never had it. La Liga's never had goal line technology." Nope. Wow, that's just sad. Serbia country ball said foreign ball was offside, and Serbia said Barca should have won, man, or at least tied. I think I think a draw would have been a fair result. If I'm being real, I don't think we I don't think we deserve to win. I think a draw would have been a fair result. But you know, football yeah, just is about details, man. Like the defending from the Cancelo. I mean, of course, because yeah. he, was, he and, was responsible for like the first two goals. It was just very. Not, I mean, Kubata see the unfortunately the penalty, but like he got cooked by Vasquez so badly. It forced Kubarsi to make an intervention at the end. Yeah, I, and for me, I don't really blame Kubarsi that much because, like, he, like, like I, it wasn't like for me. Cancelo is more at fault because he allowed it to happen. It shouldn't have come that. It shouldn't have been that bad. Yeah, he, he no, nah, he he got cooked bad. I don't know anybody say La Liga's over now. Oh yeah, it's over. Like yeah, so we have some yeah. Up, yeah, now it's definitely definitely over. And wait, can Real Madrid win the league next weekend? I think so because they only needed six points. Yeah, so let's see. We're on so a maximum so seventy, so seventy plus eighteen. Um, that would have been eighty-eight. Oh no, they can't win the league next week. So they need. I think they need. Yeah, six. I think they need two more wins. Two more wins. Uh, okay, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, well, unless we drop points, that is. <laughs> Mr. Ninety-six. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, this game shows why Vinny, uh, Vinicius. We we shouldn't assign Kinsel. He's horrible at defending. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Bizzo says ADM so depressed, bro. Sigh. See, I'm not like I'm not as depressed like as you guys are. Like I am obviously sad, but at the end of the day, as Barry put it out, this all Clasco, we there wasn't really much at stake, you know. So it wasn't like yeah. the, it wasn't like the finals. Like the final that happened earlier this season in January. Oh man, I was very depressed because we, we gave we gave our rivals a trophy, you know. Yeah, the or the or, nah, I don't feel anything now. I, I was very upset uh Tuesday, but now like there's nothing much at stake, so yeah. Yeah, like and for me, like if I've had a decision for which I would have wanted to win this one or Tuesday, it would have been Tuesday for sure, right? Yeah. So man, for Real Madrid, this is a crazy week for them. They beat both champions of Europe and Spain respectively in the same week. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they, they had the best week ever. 13 games unbeaten since that 5 3. That is true, Serbian country ball. We haven't we haven't we this is our first loss since that Villarreal game. 
Oh, uh, in La Liga. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I thought, La Liga, La Liga. I thought you were saying. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I told him, I said, man, it's over. La Liga's done. No way we could win it now. There was a yeah, chance it would have been closer. Yeah, if we win the next game, we get officially UCL spot. Oh, let's go. <laughs> so, uh, Antonio Badal said there was a really good. Uh, this was a really good classical, and I thought Barca played well at times, but the mistakes they made is why they lost. In fact, in, in my opinion, of yeah, the three exactly. classicals, this, yeah. was the, this this was the best out classical of the three, in my opinion. Yeah, as a as a yeah quality wise, yeah. yeah. Uh, Patrick Mia says unlucky. Felix is just so easy. He doesn't have enough work rate. Barca shouldn't sign him at all. Don't give Atleti money. I'd only sign him if it's like cheap. Otherwise, no, no thanks. Yeah. Like if it's like 10, 20 million, okay, fair. Okay, fair enough. But not more than like 50 million. La Liga is a joke. How the heck in 2024 can you not have gold light technology? Bar is so horrible. It doesn't have enough angle to see the potential Barca goal went in. Yeah. It's bad, man. Box says last ever El Clasico for Modric. Yeah, when is Modric going to retire, man? <laughs> like he's, he's been playing. I think it's his so last long, season, man. maybe? Is it his last season? Yeah, like how old is he, by the way? 38 years old. I have a feeling, Barry. I have a feeling he's going to retire for the Euros. I think he's going to retire for the Euros. We'll see, man. Whatever whatever he wants to do is what it is. Well, I think he he might leave Real Madrid and maybe go to MLS, maybe, potentially. Or maybe go back to – wait, which what, what was his first – what was his first club? Was it um, Dinamo Zagreb? I think so. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, whatever he wants to do, he deserves it. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. He's he's definitely a uh, alt. Oh, actually, yeah, Dinamo Zagreb was his first club. So yeah. go he's back to there, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, Dinamo Zagreb could use it, use him because they're in. Um, I don't think they're doing too well in the Croatian league. <laughs> Last time I checked, mm-hmm. although I haven't checked in a while. Uh, Bulgaria said refs were horrible. Dinga says hi. Um, Abok says Barca can build on foundation of the youth. Yamal, Kubarsi, Pedri, Gavi, for me, Balde, Roque. Dude, we have so many young players coming through. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I think there was one good thing this season. We have so much youth pro- uh, youth players. I think that's a one positive I could take away from the season. Uh, yeah, it's just a I, matter of uh, uh, during when the season's going to be able to build the the team very well for the future. Yeah, Box says, do you see Pablo Torre plus Fati coming back from loans or being sold on? Uh, I think we're not gonna keep Fati, Pablo Torre. I don't know. Yeah, um, I feel like we might try another loan spell, but I don't know, man. I don't think these players have a future at this club, if I'm being honest. Box says, I can see Bill Bowley probably going to let it go into the UCL. No, nah, I think I think Atletico is going to get Champions League. Actually, let me look at the league table. Let's see. I mean, I, I don't know. Now that, uh, now that, uh, oof, I mean, it's not looking good. Eh? Yeah, three points. I think uh, when is I think Madrid Bilbao that game is coming. Oh, they play soon. next week. Okay, this game is gonna be massive. This game is gonna be massive. Can Bilbao actually manage to be Atletico at the Wanda Metropolitano? Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be huge. I think I think Box if if Atletico wins this game, then I think they're in a really good position. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man. Um, so guys, hit the like button, guys. We have fourteen viewers watching. How many likes? We're on nine likes. Okay, that's good. Let's try to get up to 10 before we round off. So, yeah, um, you know, and I'll be honest with you guys, looking at Barca's remaining fixtures, this is, there's probably, we don't really have any other, the season's pretty much done. I mean, we still have some other games to go for the season, but really, honestly, guys, I don't, uh, there's not really, the season's, there's not really much, there's not really many significant games. I think the only significant game we have for Barca after this is probably Toronto away. But, yeah, I mean, we got, how many, how many points is uh, Girona behind us for third? Two points behind. We do need to finish second place because, guys, second place is massive. It gets us in the Super Cup. So we do need to – we probably need to be Girona away or get a draw. Mm. That game is going to be interesting. But, yeah, I mean, other than that game, yeah, the, I don't know what else. Yeah, nothing. Really. Yeah, so, Barry, what's your overall takeaways before I round off? Uh, yeah, it was a great game. I, I was, like, a bit upset that we lost because, you know, it was a great one. But just details. And uh, just got to move on, man. Because now we have nothing to play for, really. Yeah, I just hope that next season we can, like, let's try to, like, next season, let's try to get the youth players an opportunity. Like, Xavi, we don't, we don't need to keep – let's give Roque some opportunity. Let's give our French players opportunities. 
Like, let's give players that hardly play an opportunity. Like, Roque, I'm looking at Hector Ford. And maybe uh, maybe uh, bring uh, maybe Pena should play the next couple of games. Maybe we should rest her second. <laughs> you know, yeah. That kind of stuff. But even so, Pena, it's not like he was amazing uh, while Ter Stegen was injured. Yeah, wait. Who is this player, actually? Diego Cochin? Wow. A USA goalkeeper. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Yami, can you give him this game time? <laughs> it, it just, just for your sake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, and I, I leave. Uh, dang, this guy's a part of the USA under under seventeens. Wow, very young. At least USA has a lot of good goalkeepers, man. That's the one yeah. thing I like about the United States. We have a lot of good goalkeepers. Yeah, good for you guys. But yeah, man. yeah. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, is there any Canadian players on Barca? I don't think there is. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, that's sad. Maybe we'll get in the future, but yeah. I think we're going to round up here, guys. There's not really much else to say. Um, congratulations to Real Madrid for pretty much winning La Liga. It's not official yet, but it's going to be official soon. And, um, yeah, for Real Madrid, man, they got the three points. And shout out to Don Carlo, man. Don Carlo. And uh, once again, man, one thing I want to say before round up, we allowed Real Madrid to the double over us since the 2020-2021 season. Uh, I mean, that season, though, it's two El Clasicos. That was painful. Do you remember those two El Clasicos that season, Barry? Uh, repeat. It was under the Kuman season. Do you remember the season where Kuman came? Yeah, um, to, uh, 21 uh, 22. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Um, wait. No, 21 20, 21. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the season where, um, the Real we won the Copa del Rey that season. We beat Bill. Yeah, Bell. yeah. Man, we allowed that was the last time Real Madrid did a double over us. Yeah. So, this is bad, man. This is bad. But, you know, like, this one doesn't feel as bad as that one because we were still not a legal of guitar race that time, I think. But, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And Barcelona, man, it is what it is. But, yeah, anyways, I'm going to round off here, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. So, please run a like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.